<laughs> this woman harassing random people on the beach saying all liberals are the same while driving a scooter flying a Trump flag has to be one of the most ironic images of the year. Disgusting. <laughs> That's a sign for hate. Go f yourself. Go f yourself. F up. What's up? <laughs> what I do with my stimulus check? I pay my bills. The Trump. He's a just like you. I'm really glad that lady clapped back against those Trump supporters who were just trying to be big old bullies because it shows you you don't always have to be the bigger person. Sometimes you need to fight fire with fire and let people know I hear and see your BS and I'm going to call you out. I'm going to confront you and I'm going to do it so or I'm going to do so in an assertive way. And maybe it makes Trump supporters think twice about broadcasting their appalling and disgusting views. This has gone far enough and gone on long enough and there are countless of millions of people that have come in here illegally. And now this is an attack on the American people. If you're an American citizen, it doesn't matter how you feel politically. This is an attack on you. This is an attack on our sovereignty. You can't just walk in here at your own leisure. It doesn't matter if you're a ref refugee or asylum seeker. I wonder what this MAGA moron really means when he says that we are losing our sovereignty, that no one coming across the southern border should be allowed in this country. I mean, we should have 50 cows and landmines lining the border and using them, uh, that would stop the problem. But nobody has a effing spine. Nobody will do anything. So that falls back on us, we the people. And we have the constitutional right to defend our borders. I'm just waiting to see how many we can get in numbers who have had enough who are sick of it. Because I promise you, if a million of us go down there armed and take over our border, there won't be a damn thing they can do about it. The federal government. We have to protect ourselves. So that's what I mean. Landmines, 50 caliber sniper rifles, and a whole bunch of self-proclaimed patriots committing mass violence against people who more often than not are escaping violence in one way or another themselves. It has gotten to the point where there's thousands of us at this point that it's just enough. We're ready to come to Texas. We're ready for battle lines to be drawn. We're ready for the war to be declared. Sides have been chosen. I'm on Texas' side, obviously. Like, there's Biden support that are on his side. At this point, the lines have been drawn. The guns need to be loaded. The trenches need to be dug and need to die. And it's no wonder that people seriously think they're justified in thinking this way because their political leaders are saying the same thing just in a more digestible and a polite way for the average American. We got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and Prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world, they're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world. They're pouring into our country. Nobody's even looking at them. They just come in. Illegal immigration is poisoning the blood of our nation. They're coming from prisons, from mental institutions, from all over the world. Without borders and fair elections, you don't have a country. Make America great again. We must win in 2024, or we will not have a nation. Our country is being invaded. It's an invasion by millions of illegal aliens from all over the planet, and left-wing sickos are pumping toxic anti-American propaganda into the minds of our beautiful youth. They're destroying our youth. I have followed this president all over. I went to jail for him. I would die for him. I fall him to the ends of the earth. I got nothing bad to say about Donald J. Trump. Nothing. That's never going to happen. No, I got nothing. I'm a veteran. Born to ride Donald Trump. Awesome. 100 million people who will be voting for President Trump in the next election because President Trump, he show everything and he don't do nothing bad. President Trump shows everything? Yeah. Like the documents that he showed other people that he wasn't supposed to? Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think about Trump calling Raffensperger, the Secretary of State of Georgia, and saying, I need you to find X amount of votes? It was like 12,000 votes. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's free world, ain't it? Isn't it a free world? It's a free world, but that in totality with his efforts to replace the electors in Georgia, 
it kind of comes off well, like he's trying to steal the election. election. Was fraudulent or not? Do you think it was legal? Wait, do I think the election was legal? Yeah. Yeah, I think 2020. You really do. You see, this is one of the biggest problems with even trying to have a good faith dialogue with a Trump supporter because they refuse to apply their beloved law and order principles when it comes to Trump and anybody associated with him. But they have no problem doing it if it has to do with their enemy. Hillary Clinton, she questioned the election results of 2016. In a little bit of a different way, though. No, no, no. It yeah, was she, definitely No, no, different. she actually questioned the outcome. You don't see how that's different than Donald Trump spending not only months, but years <laughs> after the election, undermining every institution. Tell me, tell me an institution he undermined. I, every institution? Every institution? Well, let me ask you this. Do you trust Bill Barr? No. Do you trust the DOJ? No. Do you trust the FBI? No. So these are the institutions he's been undermining? Well, they should be undermined. Did Hillary Clinton call the Secretary of State of Georgia and say find X amount of votes? Don't you think that's a little bit different, trying to actively undermine it? Do you remember when Trump called Raffensperger? In Georgia? Yeah. He was not undermining. He you don't was, think so? No. No, he was saying there needs to be an audit to find the ballots because there was plenty of Trump ba ballots and, and they needed to go through and do an actual audit. My least favorable thing about President Trump, nothing. Nothing? Because you know what? I'm hiring him to run the country and he knows what he's doing. Just so you know, you don't have to defend things that are bad. I know, I know. And I feel the same way about you. I feel like you sometimes stick up for things when you shouldn't. Adam Mockler obviously realizes this too and got this Trump supporter to admit that you don't always have to support everything a person does if you think it's wrong. Sadly, though, this uh, breakthrough turned out to be short-lived. I'm not going to sit here and second-guess him or armchair quarterback him. He's doing it. He does a great job, and I'll vote for him again this year. I'm going to flip what you said back at you. You don't have to defend things. You don't have to defend everything. No. Can you at least admit he has a little bit of an ego problem? No. Tell you what, if you think it's an ego problem, that's your opinion. And I respect that. This is the opinion of everyone that's ever met him, everyone that's ever been in his cabinet or written a no, book about him. No, no, no. Not everyone thinks that. And this Trump can do no wrong sentiment is something we've covered numerous times since it has become a uniting force in the MAGA movement. Is there anything that Trump could do that would cause you not to vote for him? No. I mean, other than being caught with a uh, dead woman or a live boy in bed, no, there's nothing, I, there's nothing he could do. Is there anything he could do to lose your vote? Uh, go commit murder. Uh, say he hates America. I don't see it. I don't see that in the forecast. What he could do to stop me from voting for me, he'd die. <laughs> Is there anything that Trump could do to lose your vote? Are there other people you're looking at? No, absolutely not. It's Trump all the way. Whole way. Is there anything he could do that would lose your support? No. No. Because he's not afraid to step up there. Is there anything that he could do to, to lose your vote? No. Nope. Like I say. No. Is there anything he could do to lose your support? I, I don't have the imagination to think about that.